The clock is ticking, the days feel shorter, and as you grow older, you realize that in your lifetime your parents will age. Their hair will turn grey and their wrinkles will pile onto more wrinkles. You might even relate to your parents more now in adulthood than you ever had before, and even feel a little bad for giving them such a hard time as a child and teenager. Thinking this, you might also come to the realization that, in your lifetime, your parents will pass away. We don't often acknowledge this anticipatory grief. When we preemptively train ourselves to feel that loss, what would you do? How will you function? Who would you talk to if your parents are gone tomorrow? It's hard not to think about the inevitable. Anticipatory grief is especially common if you have parents or loved ones who are sickly, especially frail or in need of care. There isn't a manual on how to handle anticipatory grief, but it makes sense that it exists. After all, grief is the process of the mind adjusting to loss. Anticipating that loss, feeling it before it's here, this is the mind trying to begin that adjustment process. Psychologists Linda Reynolds and Derek Botha published their analysis of this research and found contradictory evidence as to whether or not anticipatory grief is actually helpful or not. With some researchers finding that it dampens the pain of the actual loss, while others have found it made no real difference. All this contradiction proves what we already know. Everyone grieves differently. It can depend on how you manage your emotions, how you express your emotions, and the nature of the relationship with the person you lost. You may even grieve on and off for years, experiencing grief differently each time. When you anticipate grief, you might not even realize what it is that you're anticipating. Loss is vague, and the pain of loss is even vaguer, especially if you have never experienced it before. When we are going through anticipatory grief, we might continuously imagine our lives without them plan our lives around them being gone, or even avoid them as a way of not having to confront the reality of the situation. Parents have a sensitive spot in our hearts. Unlike our pets, who we know won't be by our side forever, we never experienced a world without our parents before. When they pass, you may lose a part of yourself and find that the world is suddenly a very different place. As painful as it can be, watching your parents age is a privilege. Try to spend much time with them, hug them, and make them laugh. Don't let anticipatory grief steal the joy that you can still share with your parents. Remember, you are not wrong for feeling anticipatory grief. It's okay to take it seriously. Reaching out to a therapist is perfectly valid and could go a long way in helping you deal with these overwhelming emotions. We appreciate you being here, and we hope this video helped to put some of your emotions into words. For more videos like this, subscribe to Psych2Go and leave a like on this video if you found it helpful.